good morning students today we start a new chapter here which one is known as matrices actually the matrices is very necessary in various branches of mathematics it is a very powerful tool in mathematics mathematics are not only used as a representation of the coefficients in system of linear equations it is also used in other different areas also like here you see sales and projection cost estimation analyzing the results of an experiment it is also used as physical operation also like magnification rotation reflection through a plane it is also used as genetic economic sociology modern psychology and industrial management now here we use this one as a fundamentals of matrix and matrix algebra so this which one is written here so here we discuss about matrix how to use this matrices actually matrices is the plural form of matrix so how can we apply this matrices in mathematics we have to discuss here for this let's take an example so now here we consider an example if you see three people are there radha fozia and simran suppose radha have five notebooks and six pens similarly fozia 10 notebooks two pens and simran 13 notebooks five pens so this results we can express like in a big bracket like in this way so radha 5 15 sorry 15 notebooks 6 pens so that's why we have to write 15 6 similarly second one is 10 2 and the third one we write 13 5 so we can express this one for matrix here we can express this result like in this way so the first result whatever we write here 15 and 6 this one known as first row you see here written the second one is we write 10 to so the which one is known as second row and the third one is 13 5 which one is known as third row similarly the first one the vertical line 15 10 13 this one is known as first column and the second vertical line is 6 to 5 which one is known as second column so we can say here the horizontal line first horizontal line is first row second one is second row third row similarly first column and second column is it clear so let's take an another example here now let's see here this one notebooks and pens again same thing we write radha fozia and simran you see 15 6 10 2 13 5 15, so this one we can express here like in this way 15 6 10 2 13 5 15, so the first one is here how many vertical lines are we get here three so first one is first column second column third column is it clear i repeat this one first column second column third column similarly here the first horizontal line is first row and here it is second row is it clear okay okay now students the next one is here we start now matrix now let's see here we consider an example a in big bracket like in this way this one is actually the symbol of matrix here we consider an example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so here the first horizontal line is 1 2 3 second one is 4 5 6 7 8 9 9. similarly if you see the vertical line 1 4 7 2 5 8 3 6 9 we write so now here three lines three horizontal line three vertical lines are there so that means here what we can say this matrix a has how many rows three rows this one and how many columns are there three columns if the number of rows and the number of columns are same then we can say this type of matrix is known as square matrix is it clear so now let's take an another example here you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 now here how many rows are there two rows 
so b has two rows but how many columns are there three columns are there so that's why here number of rows and number of columns are not same so that's why this type of matrix is known as rectangular matrix is it clear so now here whatever we write under this matrix now this one is a matrix here we write one two three four five six like here some numbers are we write here it may be alphabet also it may be another symbol also so the name of this one is known as elements what we can say element so individually this one is known as one one element so here if anyone asks you how many elements are here so we have to count here and then we get nine elements are here similarly here how many elements are there six elements are there so a matrix we can represent like in two ways a square matrix or it may be a rectangular matrix and under this the number or constant term whatever we write these are known as individually one one element is it clear okay now next we move to the order of a matrix now let's see what is the order of a matrix so how can we define the order of a matrix so now first of all we consider an example a matrix we consider so matrix we consider a b c d e f g h i so now if you see how many rows are there first second third three rows are there Similarly, how many columns are there? First, second, third, three columns are there. So in matrix, inside, like in this way, always we have to write down the first the number of rows. And then we write the number of columns. Always remember, and in between these two, we write cross. So here, how many rows are we get? How many horizontal lines? Three horizontal lines. So that's why we write three here, you see. Similarly, how many columns are there? Three columns are there. So that's why we write three. So we write three cross three. And this three cross three, three is represent the number of rows. Three rows are there. And this three represent the number of columns. That means three columns are there. So this number of rows and number of columns, we, we write in this way. It is known as order of a matrix. Is it clear? It is known as order of a matrix. So if anyone asks you what is the order of this matrix, then you have to say 3 cross 3 or this one we can read as 3 by 3 also. It is known as 3 by 3 matrix. Is it clear? So let's take an another example. So now if you take another example here, you see here. First row, second row, third row. Three rows are we consider. So that's why we write number of rows three. But if you see the vertical lines, one, two, three, four, that means four vertical lines are there. So that's why we write four. So number of rows is three. Here number of columns are four. So now here the order is what we have, what we have to say here, three by four. So that's why the order of this matrix is three by four, or you can say three cross four. Is it clear? So this order of a matrix we can write in general also now let's take an example in general if we consider a matrix like in this way you see a11 so first row second row dot 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 m number of rows are we consider how many rows are there here we consider three here we consider three but here how many rows are there m number of rows are there so that's why we write m here Similarly, if you see the vertical lines, how many vertical lines are there? N number of vertical lines. So that means N columns. So that's why we write here N. So if we say here, what is the, if anyone asks you, what is the order of this matrix? Then you have to say M cross N because M number of rows are there and N number of columns are there. So that's why we can say here M by N. And in general, so individually each one is each and every one is what here an element so now here why we write a11 1213 so this first one here it is not 11 not 12 it is known as 1 1 so here the first one is represent the row and the second one represent column always so now here a11 that means this one we can read as first row first column is it clear so here it is one two that means the meaning is what first row second column and in this way this one is one three that means first row third column so similarly here we write m and that means m number of rows and n number of columns so in general which one we represent by a i j here i represent the number of rows and j is represent the number of 
columns so here order is m cross n i may be 1 2 3 4 up to n similarly j also may be 1 2 3 4 up to n so in different different place whatever we write here 2 2 that means here the value of i is 2 j is also 2 so that's what we write in general an element we can represent like in this way a equal to a i j and this one is very important is it clear okay thank you next let's take an example here if a matrix has 10 elements what are the possible or orders it can have so if the number of elements are given to you how can we write down the order so very simple order we know m by n so that means the elements whatever you get you have to just find out the factors of this 10 so now here 10 elements are there the possible orders or that means the factors are what we can write 1 into 10 the possible factors then the second one we can write 2 into 5 or 5 into 2 or 10 into 1 so here the first one represent for row and the second one is represent for column so 1 into 10 that means here 1 row 10 columns 2 into 5 that means 2 rows 5 columns 5 into 2 that means 5 rows 2 columns similarly 10 rows 1 column so in this way each and for every question if the number of elements are given to you so easily you can find out the order there is it clear next we move to the types of matrix so this one is very important here types of matrix so so first one is here color matrix so now it is here from the example it is very visible you see here one two three four now in this matrix how many columns are there here only one column is there number of rows lots of number of row, uh, number of rows are here four one two three four so that means the order what you have to write four into one so a matrix which have only one column if only one column then it is known as column matrix is it clear next one we move to row matrix similarly in row if we get only one row so that means one two three four five so here five columns are there but number of row is what one so that's why if only one row we get then it is known as row matrix so square matrix already we discussed square and rectangle square matrix means what the number of rows and number of columns must be same if the number of rows and number of columns are same then it is known as square matrix or if the number of rows and number of columns are not same then what we can say then we can say it is not a square matrix it is a rectangle matrix is it clear okay okay next one is diagonal matrix so this diagonal matrix is very important so first condition is what for a diagonal matrix so how can we identify a diagonal matrix whether a diagonal matrix or not so the first condition is what the matrix must be a square matrix so already written here you see the matrix must be a square matrix is it clear and after that from the first row first column this one is what the first row first column element this one is first row second column first row third column similarly this one is second row first column second row second column second row third column similarly this one is third row first column third row second column third row third column so now from first row first column we identify the diagonal elements and these diagonal elements are known as diagonal elements here in case of matrix these are the diagonal elements a b and c diagonally we identify here from the first row first column element so now here we discuss about diagonal matrix not diagonal elements so for diagonal matrix the matrix must be a square matrix first condition and the second condition is what except the diagonal elements the non-diagonal elements must be zero is it clear so you see here these three are here in this case these three are these are what non-diagonal elements and these non-diagonal elements are must be zero so that means from here what we get if a matrix is a square matrix and if non-diagonal elements are zero then the matrix is known as a diagonal matrix is it clear okay next we move to the next one scalar matrix 
so how can we identify a matrix whether it is a square matrix or not so in this case the condition is same first thing we need a square matrix so first one we write here and second thing the non diagonal elements are must be zero so that means you see here these three are the non diagonal elements these three are the non diagonal elements these are zero and the third one more condition required here the diagonal elements are always same it may be 2 2 2 it may be 3 3 3 or it may be root 3 root 3 root 3 whatever the diagonal elements are must be same then in this case we can say it is a scalar matrix is it clear the next one is we move to the identity matrix so in case of identity matrix also the condition is same first thing a square matrix required second thing the non-diagonal elements are must be zero and the third and the most important condition is what here the diagonal elements are must be one not less than one or not more than one exactly one if we get one 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 then it is known as a identity matrix so what is the order of this matrix three by three so that's why this identity matrix is represented by i three is it clear this three represent the order similarly in this matrix you see here one zero zero one so that means one diagonal elements are one one and the non diagonal elements are zero so this one is here we represent as i two one thing one more thing here the diagonal elements are always we consider from the first row first column is it clear so in this case you see this one 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 are the diagonal elements but this 0 1 0 this one is not a diagonal elements is it clear but in geometry we get two diagonals in square rectangle but in case of matrix we get only one diagonal and which one we get from first row first column the second one is this one is not a diagonal element diagonal here in this case is it clear okay next one is we move to the zero matrix zero matrix is very simple if all elements of a matrix are zero if all elements of a matrix are zero then it is known as zero matrix and next the one is come here equality of matrices equality of matrices means what if two matrix are of same order in this case you see a b c d we write the order is what two by two in this case one two three four we write but the order is what two by two so if the orders are same it is not compulsory that it is it may be square or rectangle if the orders only the condition is what if the orders are same then the two matrix are we can say equal and in this case easily we compare the, the first row first column element is here a and here the first row first column element is what one so that's why this a is equal to one similarly b is equal to two c is equal to three d is equal to four in this way we can equality of matrices we get is it clear so after that now next your task is what the axis is 3.1 so whatever we discuss here with respect to this the axis is 3.1 you have to complete in your home very easy chapter or if any question is there then you can ask me the notes are also provided to you so through pdf file so you can see there so your main task is what this exercise 3.1 you have to complete including the example questions also is it clear okay thank you